Hi, welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Allison Topperwein. In today's world of product design, being green matters. Not only do customers want environmentally responsible products, but many countries demand it through regulations. In today's episode, we'll show you how designers are meeting the green demands. I'm Vince Penman. With rising energy costs and rising prices for resources, companies around the world are adopting sustainable design methods. Sustainable design is the practice and philosophy that products should be created using the least amount of non-renewable resources, and that extends beyond design to supply and chains and manufacturers. According to a 2011 survey conducted by Cone and Wolf, 72% of people polled in the U.S said that it's important to buy products from a green company, and a whopping 95% of Chinese were willing to spend more on a green product. Environmental regulations match consumer preferences. Say you're building a dirt bike. Within the EU, there are numerous standards that dictate the materials you can use. If the headlights of the bike contain too much mercury, or the bike's plastic body contains more than 0.1% brominated flame retardants, you won't be able to sell your bike within the Eurozone. And any plans you had to expand your brand into Europe will be halted until you can rebuild your product without these materials. So keeping up with the materials that your suppliers use is critical to ensuring that your products stay sustainable. To make sure your design complies, you could cross-check all of your suppliers' parts and manufacturing techniques by going through reams of paper and making expensive on-site visits. But today, advanced cab packages can eliminate nearly all of this time and work by monitoring the materials that break environmental regulations like REACH, ROHS, and CPSIA, your company can avoid costly redesigns and shipment stoppages. New CAD packages can even check to see if your products meet environmental standards that are likely to be in place down the road, so you can build a plan for future compliance as well. This episode is sponsored by PTC. To learn more about PTC's Windchill compliance software and how it can help the development of your products, visit ptc.com slash product slash windchill slash compliance. And thanks for watching this episode of the Product Design Show. Please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.